you know, we were working down in downtown LA and it's, you know, it's quite challenging to work down there. You never know what's going to, what you're going to come up against. <laughs> and so, um, we were working in this really old building and, um, <laughs> and we, we all started cracking up because it felt like it was haunted. Hi, Lisa. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fine in you. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you again because I spoke with you briefly for the Baker and the Bees and the Beauty. So I love that series. And so I, I got so upset back then when they, they canceled. So anyway. Me too. Me too. <laughs> thank you. Thank I you. know. Yeah. So let's talk about the righteous thieves. So when you first read the script, what attracted you to, 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 to the project? Um, well, when I first read the script, prior to me reading the script, uh, my girlfriend, Jolene Rodriguez, called me up and said, hey, I'm working on this movie. It's a heist film. It's called, right? It, it, actually, it was called something else before that. But um, she said the director, Tony, and I decided that the, the lead should be a female instead of a male because it was written male. And I love that. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. She says, it's kind of Ocean's Eleven-y. You would be like the George Clooney. And I was like, oh, I love George Clooney. I'll, okay. I could do George Clooney. And I uh, read the script and then I, I fell in love with Annabelle. I was like, wow, she's, she's badass. She's a rock star. She's strong, intelligent, in charge, powerful. And yet I can see who she is, her heart and her passion for what she's doing. Um, and then I loved the subject matter that they're, you know, these thieves, she gets this group of thieves together to do something really good and, you know, get back the art for the Jews that was stolen by the Nazis during the Holocaust. And which is, you know, dear to my heart personally, because my husband's Jewish and his family has their own, you know, stories about that horrible time. So yeah, I loved it. I thought this is great. And I love that you know, we weren't trying to be Latino. We were just people and we happened to be Latin. Yeah, that was the, that, that was one of the best part of the movie because you're like just regular people that I, por acaso, we are Latinos, but that's right. it. You know, I right. love that. And right. also Annabelle, she's a very powerful, she's very like strong female power woman over there. Her outfits are amazing. I love all of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yes. So how was it for you like to prepare to play her? Did you find inspiration on someone else or any other character or anyone around you that are very powerful like that? Well, you know, I grew up with powerful women in my family. Uh, all, all the women in my family are strong women and have always been. Um, and I, I love playing those kinds of characters, uh, strong, intelligent women in charge, independent, um, yet vulnerable. Um, I, I, you know, I worked a little bit with the writer. Um, I looked into a little bit of the history of the, you know, the Nazi plundering of the art, you know, during the Holocaust. And, um, and I, you know, read a little bit about some of the families and it just is absolutely heartbreaking. Um, and I think that that be really became the basis of my passion behind Annabelle, um, her wanting to right this wrong, just my own personal passion of, I wish, you know, I could do something kind of thing. And uh, just um, always kind of being a woman in my own life, you know, I'm the oldest of four, I am a mom, you know, and, um, you know, I have a career and so always needing to be in charge and, and, and pulling strength out for different situations. I think I pulled from that for her, you know, and, and, um, that really was the foundation of how I created Annabelle. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. And how was like work with Anthony? You, you work with the, the, the writer on to prepare to play her, but was, what was the work with Anthony on, on set? Like he gave you guys room for improvisation or how was like this dynamic there? He totally gave us room for improvisation. He's like a firecracker. He moves so fast. There were times when I was like, Tony, wait a minute. 
we got to get this moment. I'm going to do this here. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me see it. Let me see it. You know, um, it was, and we were, you know, we were on a tight schedule. And so God bless him because he was up against a lot, but he got it done. He got it done. And he's very much a visual. He loves action. So I love the way he made the film so exciting to watch. And it was always like, it was never flat, you know? Um, and we just worked really well as a group, you know, uh, we were excited to be able to improvise on a lot of things and they gave us total creative freedom and Jolene gave me a lot of freedom creatively as well. Um, uh, on, you know, where I felt Annabelle's point of view was coming from in, in a certain scene or, you know, in a certain situation in relation to the characters. So, um, and Tony trusted me, you know, they, tr I feel like there was a lot of trust there. You know, so that was good. The cast members, you guys are amazing. And the chemistry between you, Carlos, Sasha, China, it's amazing. So how was like this dynamic on set as well? And something funny happened while you guys are filming? <laughs> oh my gosh, we had a blast because most of us were friends prior to the film. Um, and the chemistry was instantly there. So uh, it was it was like working, you know, with family, with friends. And so you don't have to work on that chemistry. It's already there. It's believable and it's organic. So that that was an easy thing, you know. Um, but something funny. Oh, we had a lot of funny things that happened. Um, we, you know, we were working down in downtown L.A. And it's, <laughs> you know, it's quite challenging to work down there. You never know what's going to what you're going to come up against. <laughs> and so um, we were working in this really old building and um, <laughs> and we we all started cracking up because it felt like it was haunted. You know, we kept hearing things that each one of us in our room were like, we, we call each other on the phone. It was like, did you hear that? Or do you, you know, I smelled smoke in the bathroom. Like somebody was sitting there smoking a cigarette. I was like, my room is haunted. I gotta get out of this room. There's somebody in my room smoking a cigarette. And everybody was cracking up. So we, we kept interchanging rooms and hanging out with each other, which brought us even closer. It's like me and me and Jaina or Sasha would be squished on a sofa. We're like, I'm 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 hanging out here with you, you know. So it was fun. We had a we had a blast and we were doing TikToks, you know, funny TikToks. We just had a great time. Amazing. Imagine if it was a horror movie. You guys are gonna freak out. <laughs> no kidding. I was like, I should be shooting this right now. <laughs> Amazing. And and Lisa, what we can uh, like, what is next for you? Do you have any other projects coming up soon? Well, I'm currently on season three of the Miss Pat show, which is on oh. BET Plus. But I actually have two projects in development where I'm the lead and I'm hoping and praying that, you know, we get the green light on them. I don't, I'm not really talking about them right now, but um, I'm hoping that that happens. And then I've got projects of my own that I am excited to produce. And um, there's one that I want to direct and, you know, creating my own content because not enough people are doing that for us. And yeah. uh, so I'm excited about that part of my career and I'm really pushing for that as well, as, as well as acting. I'll always act. I love it. Amazing. Lisa, this is the time that I have with you. I just want to thank you so much for your time. Muchas gracias. Muito obrigada. And keep doing what you're doing. And let me know about these projects because we can spread the word out. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Thank you, Jenna. Nice talking to you again. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here. <laughs>